and stole that pass away from Raymond Felt. The rim is crying. Come on, man. That's nasty. Uh, I'm, I'm like speechless. Covington trying to dive on it, and Westbrook comes out of the pack. Here's Westbrook racing up the floor, coast to coast, and he throws it down. Oh, the hammer dunk from Russell Westbrook. Ladies and gentlemen, the return of the one and only Russell Westbrook. This is becoming a yearly thing for me, and every year I make a Russell Westbrook build. Of all of the Westbrook builds I've made throughout the last couple of years, for me, this is not only the most effective one, but the one that plays like Russ the most. Now, before we get into it, so you guys remember last year how I did the 5-7 midget series, how I had the slasher, and then I did the sharpshooter, and then I had the 5-7 that had post-score takeover, and we just saw how broken the game was. Well, I might have done a similar thing on 2K20. I have a 5'7 player with Hall of Fame brick wall. So if you want to see that little dude out there bodying people, dropping people to the deck, just showing how broken the game is, get this video to 20,000 likes. 20,000 likes and I got you guys. Now let's get back into the Russell Westbrook build, okay? So I didn't have time to make this build and actually grind the badges. I've been grinding rep, I've been grinding my LeBron build, my center build, my you know, all, all my builds. But... I honestly think I'm going to have to go and make this. Shout out to my boy Austin for hooking me up with the account. It is a two-way slashing playmaker. Now, the one thing about his build that he did a little different than I did on my build video, the full build video for this build will be in the description. He went 6'5", which honestly is a more comp build than obviously the 6'3 Westbrook build. But it's an inch or two taller than Westbrook. Westbrook's listed at 6'3". I mean, you put shoes on him, probably gives him another inch, probably 6'4". Whatever the case may be, it's an inch or two taller than Russ, but it plays just like him i mean look at these attributes the only thing that's not really accurate probably is the free throws too high but i mean the driving dunk you know you saw the ball handling the defense the rebounding a 92 defensive rebounding on a guard bro it's insane you see the badges here get 12 finishing badges you know i got four gold badges basically shooting you only get six but honestly you have a 72 three and a 78 mid-range it's it's glitchy bro it really is glitchy the playmaking badges you know we're rocking four hall of fames two silvers and one bronze badge 21 total badge upgrades and then the defense Hall of Fame rebound chaser. You might think it's a waste on a guard, but this build snags, bro. Like I said, 92 defensive rebounding. You have a huge advantage. I was grabbing boards over lockdowns, over centers, over guards, over everyone. And you see the rest of the badges. I mean, defensively, this build is a beast. Rebounding is a beast. The way it finishes in the paint is a beast. I mean, it is Westbrook, okay? Explosive, crazy athlete. Let's get into this. First game in the park, and Westbrook is already arguing with his teammates. What a surprise. No, I'm just playing. But listen, this is my first game. Check it out. First play, right? Look at the speed. Blow by. Windmill all over this dude. Uh, when I seen that, I said, hold on a second. We might be onto something because the way he handles the ball, he is so quick. And with a 72 three-pointer, he's playing back. I'm just like, you know what? I just got a contact dunk. I'm going to just keep driving. But with a 72 three-pointer, if you know your jump shot, you'll be cashing with that. 78 mid-range, you'll be able to shoot consistent with that as well. So check this out. I don't know how many people watched La Monsta versus the versus Ticino, that series that just went down last night. But La Monsta's main build is this build. It's a two-way slashing playmaker, and he showed it off perfectly for those of you that maybe, you know, if you're thinking about the build, like, oh, it's not really a comp build, just go watch that because La Monsta showed off how comp, how sweaty, how try-hard this build can be because he was killing it in that series, man. But if you're just one of those people that just want to have fun on the game, this build is certainly for you. I'm telling you, Snagging over bigger players with a guard is actually fun. It's it's crazy how he attaches to rebounds. Like real life Russ, he attacks boards. He goes and gets them, and that's how this build feels. On top of that, you can speed boost all the time, so the dribbling is hella fun. And I mean, you saw first play, I windmilled all over this dude. But check it out. You want to shoot on him? You can shoot on him as well. First shot, green with no shot meter. This build is. Honestly, it's one of the best builds I've used. It feels like my LeBron build, except honestly, probably in terms of like comp ability, it's probably better because the shooting's better. You can speed boost all the time and you're only a couple inches shorter. 
This build really is insane, okay? If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you sticking around, man. Make sure you drop a comment down below and just tell me, you know, you sticking around for the whole video. I appreciate you. But check this out. Russ, we're talking about real life basketball for a second, all right? Russell Westbrook averaged a triple double for the last couple of years. He's getting some hate for it because, you know, it's like, oh, he's just padding his rebounds. He's just going after triple doubles. He doesn't care about winning, whatever you want to say. Uh, listen, I hear that side of it. But at the same time, he's doing something that nobody ever thought was possible, okay? Now... Once he left OKC, you know, once he went to Houston, I, at least me, probably you guys too, I was like, well, in terms of the triple-double, averaging a triple-double, it's over for that. Because, you know what I mean, James Harden's going to have the ball a lot. He's not going to get to, you know, play make as much. He's not going to get to take as many shots, all that type of stuff. But it's crazy, bro. We're five games in, and he's doing it again. He's averaging like 23, 11, and 10 right now. And he's actually shooting like 48% from the field. That That's really good for Westbrook. You guys know Russ is like a low 40% shooter. Usually not the most efficient guy, but he's actually playing pretty, pretty efficient basketball right now. Bro, if he averages a triple-double again on a team that has another guy like James Harden who handles the ball for majority of the game, it's crazy. Watching Houston the other night, I forget who they were playing, bro. When I was just saying like he goes and gets rebounds, he is relentless. His energy is something I think we have never seen before. Like, obviously, they talk about, you know, play hard, play as hard as possible. We know NBA players don't do that in the regular season. They know it some nights, some games. In the playoffs, usually, for the most part, everyone's, you know, playing as hard as they can. This guy, 82 games, bro. All out effort. I respect it. I know there's a lot of things you can hate on him for. The efficiency, the turnovers, you know, Obviously, he's never won a championship. There's a lot of stuff people get on him for, but you got to give him credit where credit is due. He plays hard every night, bro. If he averages a triple-double again, I don't want to hear anything because everyone was saying like, oh, you know, it's just he's the only guy on the team in OKC that handles the ball, so his usage rate is through the roof. Steven Adams letting him get rebounds. Well, guess what? He's on a completely different team with another guy whose his usage rate is like historically high. If he averages a triple-double again, well, then, like, all the haters, I just want, like, in terms of the people saying the triple-doubles aren't valid, then you need to take that stuff back and give him credit because if he does it this year again, I don't know if he will. We're only five games in, but if he does it again, that is something, like, I ne at least I never thought was possible. Once he went to Houston, like I said, I thought that was over. I thought the triple-double thing was over, but he, hey, he's making it happen yet again. Now, in terms of them winning... I just in the regular season they just have more talent than a lot of teams. They'll win a lot of games. Come playoff time, I just I just don't see them beating the top teams. Clippers, the Lakers, uh, you know those are I think right now the two favorites people would say to come out of the West. But even other teams, man, I just feel like they just don't fit as well as these other teams. You know, there's teams that they don't have the star power of Westbrook, Harden, you know, Capella, Eric Gordon, all you know. Hey, Houston's got a good roster. Let's not let's not doubt that. But in terms of winning a championship, I just I just don't think Houston right now, the way it's set up with Westbrook and Harden, I don't think it's it's championship material. But hey, that's just my opinion on the way it looks right now. Ask me in three months, and I you know I get to see them play a little bit more. Maybe they'll change my mind. But for right now, that's the way I feel. I don't I don't think you know in terms of winning the championship, I don't think it's happening. But check this out, man. Basically. The games that you're watching on me on this build is just me all iso ball. You can absolutely run pick and roll, pick and pop with this build as well. I just think the best way to play on it is to iso. I mean, between the ability to speed boost all the time, the blow by animations, the ability to finish inside, contact dunks, acrobatic layups, hop steps, all that stuff. But the thing that really caps it off is the fact you get Hall of Fame Dimer, Hall of Fame Floor General. I mean, anytime you kick it, if the dude knows how to shoot, I mean, you've seen you've seen the, my teammate in these gameplays quarantine. He's been greening everything. I mean, any little bit of space, it's green because, I mean, one, he can shoot, but two, the all my badges, all my attributes, it's, it's all helping him be effective in what he's trying to do. So for me, if you're an ISO player, this is a great build. And you and Lamasta just showed that off really, really well against Ticino. I mean, he was... He ISOed the whole time and he was, listen, he was killing it. It was, it was a show. It was a spectacle for sure. He put on a show, but listen, I have a bunch of NBA player and NBA legend, you know, historic players, NBA legends videos planned in the near future. Okay. I also have that five, seven series 
with you know the Hall of Fame brick wall and seeing you know seeing if we could how 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 much can we break the game with a small midget player? I mean, we did it in 19. Can we do it again in 2K20? But if there's anything you guys want to see, like certain players, certain legends, certain builds, anything like that, make sure you comment down below. I try to read the comments as much as I can and, and try to get your feedback in terms of what you guys want to see. I remember last year, a lot of people were asking for, you know, Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, Tracy McGrady. And those are the videos I ended up doing as the year went on because I saw, okay, this is what you guys want to see. I love playing the game. I love making content from it. But at the end of the day, you know, you guys are the people who support me. If I can cater to what you want to watch, I'm going to do that for you guys. I, I, I have absolutely no problem doing it. Every year, it seems like Westbrook is a big favorite in terms of entertainment on the game. So I always do a Westbrook. LeBron as well. I mean, you guys have showed so much support for my LeBron build. So we're going to keep rocking these builds. But if there's anything unique, like I said, anything I haven't done that you want to see, Make sure you comment it down below. Maybe leave it, comment on a couple videos if I don't see it the first time. And I promise you, you know, I'll get to it eventually. Absolutely. We got, well, we got like 10 more months of this game. Trust me, I got plenty of time to make any build or find a build if I can't make it or whatever the case may be. All right. But listen, I appreciate all of you guys. We're wrapping up this final game right here. We're up 15 to 2, still all ISO. And I almost forgot to mention with this build, the fact that you're basically a lockdown just gives you a huge advantage because as you guys can see, offensively, you're still a monster, but you have Hall of Fame defensive badges and your defensive ratings are crazy that you basically always have the advantage over the other team's guard. Listen, the build is glitchy. It plays just like Westbrook, except he could probably this build could probably shoot a little more efficiently than Westbrook, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I'm out. Peace.